All right, so we're gonna do part two terraces, and we'll start with this monster um, butternut, which I did actually intentionally plant. It took a while to get going, but it's gone super crazy, like a couple other things. Um, I did have one good fruit on it, but it's like it's split, so I'm gonna kind of that off. I did take out one whole um, arm of this the other day because it was getting disease. But this whole little area was super overgrown, super crazy, full of squash bugs. Um, so I, I had to come back and take some of the um, Minnesota midget vines out once they finish up their fruit. Oh, that one's got a brown skin. I don't know if that one's going to get ripe. Um, so in here, there's a tomato plant hiding. Obviously, this is a Biltmore given to me by my neighbor. And it's just, you know, making its way through all the squash, doing doing its thing. Um, there's the crowing tip, I guess. This is a jubilee, also given to me, uh, watermelon, by my neighbor. And when I planted it, it had plenty of sun and room to grow, and it got choked out by this very enthusiastic squash. Um, here are our okras quite tall and lovely, really pretty plants, so um, my family's not super keen on okra so far. I mean, ish, they like fried okra, but I haven't had enough to actually make fried okra yet. It just did roast it one night, but there's still many sorry for um, But yeah, these plants are just gorgeous, so I'll be planting them forever. Down here, we have a mess of Minnesota midgets. I actually just cut back a whole bunch of them. They were making um, some tiny, tiny boys set in fruit like that. But as you can see, it's got a lot of pest damage and they're drying out and getting sad. So I just need to come through and figure out what's still lively and what needs to be taken out. Um, I took out a whole bunch over here the other day. Just opened it up some and here's one of my artichokes, but I didn't step on that, so I'm going to say this might have been our groundhog friend taking a tour of the garden. Um, and some dill. I did throw in a bunch of dill seed and it's all kind of leggy. Just not enough room or something for it. Um, but let's just get a, another shot of these beautiful flowers. And then we'll come around and get the front side of the bed. Uh, let me stop and talk about this part real fast. Um, this is more tomatoes back here. And these are all largely defoliated black cherries. That one that's curling up there, that's a green zebra. Um, this is a Minnesota midget that I put on the um, fence here and it finally set a fruit been in here in the ground quite a long time and struggling but not enough sun maybe um this peppermint patch here it had pretty much taken over this whole area but i cut it all back pulled up a bunch of roots and runners um so that's my plan going forward just to try and keep it manicured so it's not super crazy um and i do have i can talk about the ones back over there there's a lime mint and orange mint I believe and a mugwort I just gave that a haircut and a rosemary um yep back at it so this little corner that's super packed full of stuff here's the hardy kiwi finally got going finally making some progress there bronze fennel I bought a start I'd gotten a bunch of seeds that I had scattered over here and they never really did pop up so I bought myself a start and it seems to be doing fine. Not as tall as some of the other places but again probably not enough sunlight. The ground cherry that's about to go over. And this whole corner is just super stuffed. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. Big tree came back from the brink of death. I'm so happy that it did um, but instead of being single stemmed it's gonna have you know have more of a bushing habit, which is not what I was hoping for, but you know, it lived, so we're happy with that. Um, threw in some 
bean plants here that I had as replacements for um, the bean plants on the terraces. And they were still doing fine. And these guys had gotten too big, so I had to put them in. I'm get that timing down at some point. Um, there's a blue lake that's, like I thought it was about to go over and look like I'm starting to see some flowers on it. Still might have to come out. Um, calendulas, the calendulas here have been super prolific. I've been deadheading them, but they're just, they're very happy. Um, the opal basil hanging on, not super happy. This is a rattlesnake bean. And then here, we will talk about that yeah, boy. It's a Charleston Cray watermelon. I'm super excited. Um, it put out its one fruit, and like the vine itself has not been super happy. It's gotta be getting close to done though. Uh, the tendrils on either side of it are dead. Two down, three down. And I, that's supposed to be an indicator, but the stem is so green. And so at least I understand with watermelons, once this, the stem turns brown, then it's ready to pick. Um, we'll see. But I also have this plant and This one was struggling all season, and I did give it some fertilizer, which obviously was the trick, because now it's everywhere. And I trimmed the vines back so that it would, you know, make itself a little more compact. It would stay in its zone, and it's, it made it go crazy. But hey, I got one of them. Hopefully, maybe there's another one in there, too, if some am it. And then back over here, the one butternut squash. I have a good set. Looks like it's almost done, and that plant has been struggling. But it, I guess, cucurbits are just like late season here. They really go crazy. Um, and then Minnesota midget vines. I probably need to take out because they're just super sad looking. Another arm of that tomato, the one tomato plant, and. I think, oh, let's get over in this corner. I didn't get all of these. All the ridiculous amount of things I stuffed into this corner. Seeing what would go. Um, it's a Roman chamomile. Chamomile, if you're British, I think. Um, the ground cherry. That's going over. There's some borage. I put in a whole bunch of borage and it got all um, leggy and blown over. Another artichoke. And then next year, uh, all the artichokes, I think I started really late and probably did not place them well. They need a sunnier spot, so maybe I'll put them on the terrace and see what happens. Um, there's calendula in here. There's another watermelon vine. This was actually one of the first ones I put out that I thought it would have enough time to grow and get towards the light before all this other stuff pushed out and I was wrong. And there's a rosemary plant in here. Like, clearly, I just did not anticipate partially this rosemary, or not the rosemary, but the ground cherry being so enthusiastic and sprawly. And I think, I think that's it.